welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well. Today I thought I would do a video all about patterns and how to wear them and how to style them and some tips and tricks along the way going through my closet and pieces that I have and um, talking through how to wear pattern because I think pattern is super fun especially for the spring and summer and there's all kind of patterns out right now um, from like big bold crates prints to small cute dainty prints so whatever is you and I think you can start small with accessories or go full out in like a big dress or a full on outfit like and you can wear patterns and patterns um there's a lot of fun tricks so I'm just going to go through them in this video if you want to see more style videos like how to wear I don't know like monochrome or a certain pattern individually let me know in the comments down below um and also please remember to give these videos a like and subscribe and I'm just going to go into talking about the most common patterns and the patterns that I have. Um, there's obviously a lot of different variations. But these are, I think, the main 10 patterns. Um, so we're going to start with this one. So this is a dress that has little feathers on it. So I think what I'm trying to show us here is that a pattern that is just like one object being printed over and over and over again to make a print. So it can be anything um, like animals, food, smiley faces, whatever it is, but an object that's repeated all over and over again. So that is the first kind of uh, pattern. Um, the second one is when we think of prints, think of animal prints. So I have this really nice cheetah one. And then we have Paisley. I believe how you pronounce it. Think of like Van Dana ish. Like those like um like those like little those curls and everything. So this is a really nice shirt with a bunch of them on them. The next one that's big for summer is a gingham. Just an off off shoulder shirt. Plaid, you just think of camping and summer night, um, very Canadian, love it, so it's my red plaid. And then florals for spring, um, and this is a smaller scale, so when we talk about patterns, we talk about scales and sizes. So this is a small scale floral, like so. And then we have like hemingbone, which you see a lot on jackets in the winter and stuff. But this one is on the pair of pants. So, and we have stripes, and stripes come in many variations. But I'm just going to show this one. It's really basic. Looks like this. But they can go vertically, horizontally, you name it, different colors, different shapes, anything. And then we have polka dots, which I think is super cute. And then last we have tie dye. So, which is nice because you can do this actually yourself or now you can buy them. I uh, like a tie dye already done for you, but it's also gonna be some project to do. So those are most of my prints that I have. I also have a good couple different ones like floral which has like strawberries on it, um, more floral stripes, um, polka dots, hemmingbone, animal print. But in general, I really like patterns. Um, I think they're super fun. Um, and that kind of goes into my first point about patterns is make it personal for you. So make sure the pa like the pattern reflects who you are as a person. So if you like, I don't know, if you love the color red, you might go for more red colors in your patterns. Or if you're a dog person, you might get dogs on your shirts. Um, make it personal, make it fun. Um, and I think pattern can show a lot about your personality very easily to someone without even expressing or like talking or anything like that. The first thing they see, and I think it will tell a lot about you. Um, my second point is all about the scale of a print and how it flatters your body. 
So some print is so small that you can't even see it from afar, like this dress. It actually is kind of like a cheetah print, little not normal dots kind of thing. But from afar, it just looks like a fuchsia dress. But I am breaking up the pattern a little bit with a belt, which I think is a great tip to do. Um, and then you also want to look at how big the print is to your face. And I heard this trick that if when you look at something, when you have it on, oh, that's another point. Try it on. Make sure you always try print on, especially because you never know what's going to look on you. And you never know where things are going to be placed on your body and how it's going to make you look. So make sure you try it on. You don't want to look like you're wearing a tablecloth or you don't want it like the circles to make you look bigger than you are or kind of create weird shapes with your body. Um, make sure to try it on. And then also if it's like more on a big print, um, make sure it's not like taking over that people don't look at you anymore. They look at the print. You want to be like the focus. You should be wearing your clothes, not your clothes wearing you. Um, so keep those in mind when you are purchasing print. Um, my next tip is if you're going to wear print together and pattern together, um, make sure one is the prominent one and one is the smaller one. So either you can do this by one being the colorful one, one being the neutral one, one being the bigger print, one being the smaller print. Um, but try to stick to the same color scale color scale so um if you're gonna wear like polka dots together i would do like black and white polka dots and then like black and white stripes um and i would do like maybe the polka dots bigger and the stripes smaller but something like that along those lines and also just be creative pattern and patterns look really good together and there's so much on there out there on how to style them but i would just suggest um sticking with similar colors is a good way to start um yeah and then another way to wear patterns is wear it with a neutral so either wear it with like a white shirt or a black shirt or like um like a basic brown pant um and then wear the pattern elsewhere if you are new to pattern i suggest wearing something like in your purse you can wear pattern or sunglasses or earrings or start small like start i don't know just even with like sleeves and not the whole shirt um if you want to ease your way into it and see if you like it and which print patterns look good on you and which don't um but i think they can be super fun so i would start small and then build your way up uh, and that's with a lot of like fashion things that you want to try start small on the accessories and then build it up so those are my tips on how to wear a pattern and some patterns that I have in my closet and just to break down other different patterns that are out there. I really recommend you trying a pattern this season. Um, maybe try something new or a different scale or different print. You can go crazy and get like a bunch of strawberries on your things or even just do like some basic stripes. It can be super sophisticated, but it can be super, super fun and really fashionable. So that is the video on how to wear a pattern if you want to see more videos like this please like and subscribe and comment down below and thank you so much and hope you guys have a great day bye